Hey everyone, Jay here. Uh, this is the final follow-up to the bad install public service announcement video I did. Uh, this is the end result. Um, just a recap, um, I had a client reach out to me a few weeks back. They had uh, purchased and received a, a K4 hilt originally with a, a NeoPixel blade in it that they went through a whole bunch of um, issues with it. Um, it was a horrible install. Um, the user tried to send it back, get it fixed. It came back in uh, worse shape. Um, that's when he contacted me, asked if I could repair it. I said yes. Posted up that video. We had a interesting dynamic in the, uh, the vault group that uh, one of the folks who either directly works for, or might even be the um, company that it did, originally installed this, joined in. There was a lot of back and forth and finger pointing. Eventually we got to the point where the owner of this hilt showed receipts and chat logs and things to, 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 to prove his point. Um, just to recap a little bit, this thing came with a, I've taken this apart a little bit just to kind of get it how it was built, but this crystal chamber, which was I mean, literally just made out of this very thin, flimsy plastic. You can see the, the wiring that's, that's done here. This was the switches that were uh, originally done under the transistor area. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're, um, they're, they're kind of damaged. It looks like they've been chopped up, ripped apart a little bit. Um, there's electrical tape kind of everywhere. Um, hot glue. This was the battery that was in there. It says... Uh, Oops, you know, 2400 on there. I can only assume that means uh, the milliamps per hour. Um, again, wrapped in uh, electrical tape. I don't, I haven't, I haven't taken this apart yet to see how bad or how good it may have been soldered. The clamp was drilled through and so was the inner body to put a, a 12 millimeter offset recharge port on the outside that was sticking out pretty badly and wasn't, wasn't centered. Um, that was just, in general, just a very, very bad install. Um, so I set out to not only fix this Sabre, but to make it better. So I wanted to show off some of the things that we've done with it. So we've put a uh, Sloth Furnace, Revenge of the Sith uh, card on there. Uh, you'll see a stamped uh, replica Graflex clamp. I've also added in some weathering and some light touch-ups to it to more mimic the uh, Revenge of the Sith feel of the saber, but specifically, you know, that maybe early exile period for um, for Obi Wan. So it's just a little, little just a little bit of grime on there, uh, kind of you know to, to highlight the fact that this thing went through um, went through a battle and um, has probably seen its its better days or behind it. Um, installed this with a Prism 5.1. Um, it has a 18650 lithium ion battery in there rated for 10 amps, uh, 3500 3, milliamps hour. Got a RGB LED in the emitter uh, using a royal blue, which is my preferred way to do an RGB for um, really, really nice mixes. Uh, you can get some great, great blues out of that. It has a inserted heat sink, um, or sorry, recessed in sink heat sink that, um, from Sabre Bay that uh, allows the thin walled blade to wrap around it and secures it in there real nicely. A um, bit of a better way to um, go about a one inch blade in this than just, you know, uh, randomly sitting the, um, the, the heat sink at the, at, at the base of the emitter, kind of like we do with a, a 7 8 inch uh, blade. Um, so let's, I'll fire it up, just show it off to you guys a little bit. May the force be with you. So there's our, one of our boot ups. Try not to blind you there. All the usual fun stuff. Um, take my little demo blade here and just kind of get it in there just for showing off. So you can see we got a nice lovely little blue here. But, you know, with RGB we can cycle through a lot of different Hello blade there. colors. Um, Hello there. 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 
So you get the idea there. Um, so this guy is all finished up and ready to go. Uh, the whole purpose of this was to really call out uh, the bad installs that are out there, the people that are charging a lot of a lot of money for bad products, bad service, and just really not delivering and kind of giving a bad name to the community as a whole. So hopefully this has been informative, and what I've put together here is a nice uh, demonstration of you know what what a K4 really can be and what it kind of should look like. Um, you know, make, just let me unscrew this here a second. You know, I've got a, you know, just a, a, a 3D printed goth chassis in there, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take a whole lot to make a really nice saber. You just need to take the time and effort to learn how to do it right, and frankly, to do it right. Um, this one wasn't originally done right. Hopefully. Um, the, the owner of this will be in agreement that it has now been done right. Thanks, guys.